Sunday, March 10th, was not exactly what Pete Daddy Dollar likes to call a banner day. Sunday, March 10th, albeit a seemingly great day for the Universal Wrestling Alliance and a great day for you, the fans, the UWA universe, Pete Daddy Dollar was left with more questions than answers. Pete Daddy Dollar was left seemingly not in control of things. And if there is one thing that Pete Daddy Dollar knows something about, it's control, it's law, it's order. Control wasn't to be had that day by me, thanks to certain individuals. And I'm not gonna target any one in particular. All I'm gonna say is, the inmates do not run the asylum. This is not the Lord of the Flies. This is the Universal Wrestling Alliance, the future of old school wrestling. And apparently, you need an old school boss. Do you think for one second that I need these sunglasses? Do you think I need this damn tie? Do you think I need dress shirts? Do you think I need thousand dollar gaiters? No, I don't need any of that. I proved that I could run this ship. I could be the captain of this ship. I could be the constant that the UWA needs. But apparently people don't take me seriously. Look in my eyes and listen to my words when I say April 14th, things are going to change because I am the boss. I am Pete Daddy Dollar, baby. I run the show. Not anyone in that locker room. Me, the commissioner, the boss, Pete Daddy Dollar. So UWA Locker Room, you've officially been put on notice.